Okay, you ready? Yeah. All right, I'll start it off and then just, 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 yeah, just stick to the script. Won't be that hard. Hello and welcome to this episode of Matador Express. I'm Michael Cantu, uh, filling in for Alexa Bowell today, the opinions editor for the Daily Toreador. This is? Um, I'm Gabrielle Tay. I'm the volleyball um, sports editor. Or sports reporter. Sports reporter. Congrats. It's nice having you. It's glad to see that you can Thank show you. up Thank instead you. of Alexa. Uh, so first off, we want to start off with football. Last week, the Texas Tech Red Raiders had a grueling defeat against, I believe it was Iowa State. The Red Raiders are currently having some tough times as they are on a two-game losing streak following the 31-13 loss to Iowa State on homecoming. Uh, Coach Kingbury said in his last press conference that the offense as a whole needs to improve in order to generate wins. Now we will see what he has in store as they hit the road to face number 10, Oklahoma, at 7 p.m. Saturday in Norman, Oklahoma. What do you think we're going to see in that game, Gabriel? Um, hopefully some improvements better than homecoming. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Do you think we maybe uh, might have a chance at you know making a field goal this time? Hopefully so. Um, we did okay in the game against I guess in last year, I guess, so hopefully we do better this time. Okay, good. I'm hoping for a better outcome or not. You know, Cliff usually likes to just drop the ball in many cases, so <laughs> who knows? Who knows? On to volleyball now. We'll spike it into that court. The Red Raiders are suffering the same as they are on the three-match losing streak after being shut out by number 24, Baylor, 3-0. to zero. Um, This is the third consecutive loss uh, to a top-ranked 12, Big 12 opponent. Yeah, with the 2-7 conference record looming over their heads, the Red Raiders will look for redemption as they host Kansas State at 1 p.m. this Saturday in the United Supermarkets Arena. Isn't volleyball one of your beats that yes. you cover? What do you, what do you think mm -hmm. of the season so far? Um, they were doing good for a while. But recently, they've been losing like to all the Big 12 teams, um, and then recently, like we just said, they've had this is their third time losing 3-0 to a Big 12 team. So. Right, right. What do you think? What do you think is the cause of that? What's generating this losing streak? Um, I guess like Unity as a whole, they're I mean they could work on their defense and um, hitting percentage. I guess. What do you think we should watch out for in the future? Um, I don't. I guess I players to watch out for. Emily Hill's a really good player. Mm -hmm. um, I know Kendall Cohen is like starting to appear in games now. Um, also, Chandler Atwood is really good as well. Chandler Atwood. Mm -hmm. I'm excited. I'm excited. Yeah. Let's, let's talk about soccer for a little bit. Um, well, the Red Raiders have recently tied in both of their ma uh, last matches against West Virginia and Iowa State last week. Tech only has one more regular season match against the Oklahoma Sooners at 6 p.m. on Friday in the John Walker Soccer Complex. Um, also, this game will be the determiner in whether or not the Red Raiders will have a spot in the Big 12 tournament um, starting against uh, or starting November 1st in Kansas City, Missouri. Yeah, I'm not quite sure. I, I don't have the most faith that they'll be able to make it, but I, I think they have a chance. I think they have a decent sized chance, but I'm not quite positive mm -hmm. that it's going to, you know, be theirs to grab, yeah. to have and to hold. So hopefully it's a good outcome for Coach Stone and the rest of the Texas Tech soccerers. Hopefully it's a good season for the rest of them. <laughs> Men's basketball. The exhibition exhibition match against San Angelo has recently been moved to November 1st and will begin at 7 p.m. in the United Supermarkets Arena. Um, they recently went up against Kansas City for the Big 12 Media Day and discussed the upcoming season. The Red Raiders will get to regular season action for the 2017 Naismith Memorial Basketball Hall of Fame tip-off tournament regional round against South Alabama at 8 p.m. November 10th in the United Supermarkets Arena. This is going to be the beginning of the season, just mm -hmm. about. Um, tech basketball kind of in a slump last year, mostly due to the new coaches, new yeah. uh, new uh, new players. Do you think that Coach Beard has his team tame enough this time to you know make a shot and make a good uh, play at you know the Big 12 tournament? From what I've seen so far, like all the new players and stuff, because we have like almost an entirely different team. So mm -hmm. from what I've seen so far, they've been pretty good. So hopefully they'll pick it up this season. Yeah. What do you think is the most determining factor in that then? Um, I guess, I don't know. Mm, I guess like just skill overall in general. There's a lot of schools that are just kind of overall better than us. But um, I mean, tech, like don't sleep on them. They can still do that, <laughs> definitely. 
I, 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 th I think Coach Beard can do some good things yeah. this year. I, I, I have faith that he'll be a little bit better than he was last year. Uh, I, I still I still can't tell yet if they'll be able to you know make it to where they want to get to. But mm -hmm. you know, they they have a lot of faith themselves, and athletics has a lot of faith in them as well. So. They have good support behind them. Well, that's this episode of Matador Express. Thank you all very much for watching. Make sure to like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter. I'm Michael Cantu. And I'm Gabby Tate. Okay, thanks for watching.